Hello everybody, this is Vincent. In this video, we will look into the Arch install from commands to graphical user interface tutorial from my post uh, since August 1, 1st August. Okay, uh, we will follow the, the post. It's quite a long text with 27 sections, but don't worry. It's just the ex explanation is long, but the action isn't. So as soon as you know all the uh, all the steps, the installation will take only about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the speed of your system and internet. Okay, and also remember that uh, I would like you to notice that Arch Wiki will be your best friend along your journey in Arch. So this tutorial is just like a starter for you to get to know everything and then you can go alongside with Arch Wiki which is very well written as helpful document okay and uh, yeah for better practice if you just a newcomer in Arch maybe you should so go with a uh, virtual machine like VirtualBox or virtual VMware first. Later, when you are good, then you go to uh, to uh, install it on the hard disk. So, what will we get after we uh, complete this the uh, tutorial? This is here. That's what we are. Okay, it's budgy uh, desktop environment installed uh, on top of Arch, and this is conky. Okay. So we have a taskbar as normal and a menu where you can pick all uh, software and application. So by that it's not so needed to touch the terminal anymore because um, almost everything, maybe there's some like uh, Neo Fetch, I think this is needed because this is uh, this runs from command only. Uh, from terminal only so uh, like this but uh, maybe for like sudo pacman uh, as and install whatever package or sudo pacman rns to remove whatever package or whatever this I think that after this uh, tutorial you don't need it uh, anymore uh, like I said we will use this one um, what is it? Uh, that's here. Add and remove software. It can be found here. Add and remove software and others. So with that, you can just easily install or uninstall or remove. Like remove, just just click here and then add apply. Okay, I'm not doing that. Also for install, it's like here and then apply. So it's really easy. And you can check what application you installed already and comparing to uh, command line and graphical user interface you can see here is really uh, easy to follow also you can check what uh, the details of that what the details and the dependencies yeah and files everything you can check so it's it's much more convenient than uh, let's say if here if I'm doing like that I'm a Pacman um, QE see this list also this also lists out the uh, software on my system but as you can see it's not so friendly isn't it okay so so fast circuit, I think, and also for update, you don't need to do the update. Just a click, and for example, oh, here we have an example. Okay, I just apply it. Uh, input my long password. Yep. Okay, I can check what is going on. So you see, it's really convenient. Really, really convenient. Yeah, I love it. See, everything just 
and a few click and we are done transfer transaction successfully finished and my system system is up to date okay so you see graphical interface is what I love okay for this to achieve this we have to go via some steps okay actually it's not that long just because I have to uh, write it clearly for you to easy to follow that's it uh, that's why it is quite a little bit that and you see I'm talking a lot <laughs> okay let's uh, begin first you have to download arch install installation install installer ISO file you can go by clicking there and actually I have it open here already so here you can select either to download by torrent file or by um, mirror okay and save your time I already install uh, I already downloaded it it's here okay survivor skills okay that's a picture only okay that's here so far so good next what I'm doing um, create a boot USB is easy just follow the instruction and Rufus is really really easy to uh, create a boot that will this just download the portable version you don't so you don't need to install on Windows just run it and it's safe and then you pick whatever it is select your ISO file and then create a bootable disk that's easy also if you are on Linux you may use Balina Etcher it's also easy a little bit limitation that you cannot uh, select the uh, bootloader for example uh, master boot record or uh, GPT but also it's not so needed but yeah that's easy okay and yeah one important thing you have to remember is that um, Arch doesn't support secure boot so please enter go to your BIOS enter your BIOS and here I have uh, some uh, instruction uh, how to uh, that there's a wiki how there easy to follow and enter there and disable security boot so that Arch can boot up okay there's a way but no no we are not gonna mention it here okay so that's it and because I'm not uh, recording my screen with a camera instead I will use uh, a screen recorder which will provide a better quality so for that I have to use a uh, virtual machine and in this video I will use virtual box okay let's start uh, new and uh, we'll have Arch Linux okay Arch type Linux Arch okay I will uh, appoint uh, sign yeah 4 gigabyte create a virtual hard disk now create okay that's good and I think I will uh, appoint it um, 50 gigabytes so it's easy to go on yeah virtual box this image I think that's good okay create yep create okay now we will do some setting before we go uh, arch advance I think that's good system I don't think I'll go with floppy optical because we will have an ISO image that we will Mm, put it as uh, mounted as uh, optical so that's here processor uh, I think I can give it four yeah why not okay two only two maybe that's better and everyone has the page I mm, yeah to make it fast I don't need to use FE at the moment for for this okay display display I will give all yep okay here I will appoint the ISO file 
choose the ISO file here it is I downloaded it already so just open yeah we have it Arch Linux okay audio network serial USB everything else we don't need are here yeah I don't show it okay I think so far so good I don't know whether there's anything else but let's start to see what we can do I wish it runs well Mm -hmm. Okay, it's good. Now I stop the counter, time counter for a moment because I want to um, enlarge the view a little bit, maybe to 175. Yeah, it's, it's good looking. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, now <coughs> let's start. Uh, before that, I will control F and go to full, yeah, full page full screen and enter propping EDD off to disable okay running clean up hook welcome okay welcome and what do you have what is up here yes. mouse pointer integration and uh, mouse and, uh, that's okay so what next will we do let's run it okay here we are we are in the arch installer now I wanna go back and forth to my website okay which is here so so far so good now we uh, okay cable layout as you can see that if you are using a US keyboard as I am then you don't need to do the setting but for this tutorial video I will show you how to do it okay so by doing that we have to type this uh, line of command to set the keyboard if in case that you are not using a US keyboard of course okay um, where am I here okay now what is it uh, let me take a look back let's user share keyboard key map let's user share keyboard 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 key map key map key map key map key map s uh, key maps and then dash and just slash and then map key jet more okay maps and then asterisk 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 dot uh, map dot gz okay as you can see there's a mm, slash and more and if I don't do that don't put that option what will happen Wow, you cannot read it because it screw by and you can can only read the, the final thing. That's why we use an up arrow key and we had um, that is the sign I don't know how to call it as or <laughs> yeah more enter now you have more use the down arrow key to browse it to roll it and go to the keyboard that you are looking for for my case I'm looking for US Corti Corti US here it's about uh, two ten uh, about the tent from bottom up UK US US one mine is US map so according to the instruction you just need to put the file name and omit the files path and extension so for my case I just need to put US okay and load keys yeah load keys okay now uh, I'm come to the end and load keys US for me that's on okay so we are good to go next is Wi-Fi as uh, I'm using VirtualBox and VirtualBox is connected automatically automatically uh, via the host so as client I don't need to uh, uh, connect to Wi-Fi but it's easy I show you how it works and okay first IWCTL IWCTL and we are in the IWD uh, package program 
so from there you can uh, go for for example device yeah you have to follow device list as because I, I said that I'm on virtual machine so I cannot see the uh, hardware but for your case you will see uh, for, um, most of the cases wireless LAN 0 and then you will type in station wireless LAN 0 get networks to show all the available networks Wi-Fi networks for you and then station wireless LAN connect my Wi-Fi to the, the SSID that you wanna and enter its password and then you are connected that's easy um, for Ethernet uh, mostly it's plug and play just plug in your cable and you have the connection so if not then go to ArchWiki for more instruction but I think in most of the case that's enough okay so as I'm already connected so I just need to uh, type exit okay but I can check whether I am connected or not by ping and C and two times only and I will check it by uh, Google Wow that's it here yeah, you see I'm connected already okay arch boot mode arch boot mode is important uh, because um, you need it uh, to uh, Install it correctly for the uh, bootloader to uh, works. So this is important. And remember the mode because you need it for a few more steps uh, ahead. Okay. So we just list this firmware FE FE virus. List this uh, firmware mm, FE and everywhere no every 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 verse sorry I'm not so good at memories and what I'm having here is cannot access okay is it an arrow no it's not after that if cannot access showed means that you are in BIOS mode so in my case I have to go with BIOS mode and if it show a list then it's UEFI mode okay what is a list I can check it out right here um, let's copy and make it faster I need to type all oh, in the, the installer doesn't allow to copy but uh, outside here I can copy and just I think I can go yep here see a list yeah that's set the list and when you see that means that I uh, clear to make it clear okay for that means that you are in UEFI mode okay now we go to next this and device creation uh, creating so be careful not to delete vital this yeah it's vital for Linux and uh, Windows and any other installation be careful not to delete um, important this okay now we will see what list is on our system and for that I go F this dash L means list and because it's a new list you see it's 50 gigabyte I have just created uh, in the virtual box and it's SDA A because I only have one this and the other is the uh, um, loop is uh, the installer okay uh, but what if you have more this than just one I can show you sudo um, f disk dash l now my password that's a long okay here as in my system I have uh, two this you can see this Microsoft is uh, Microsoft is Windows for sure and then I have another this is for Linux okay so you need to remember what the this the this type for mine is GBT here and the this is SDA and device we have one two three four five 
and this SDB, okay, here's this SDA, yeah. okay, here's this SDB, and device, we have SDB 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, okay, I will clear it, clear, okay, and back to our installer, yep, that's it, for BIOS mode, this must be those. In my case, uh, I have to go with those for bias mode because I am in down bias mode. Maybe the virtual box uh, put it that way, so I am not so good with virtual box, and I follow it. Don't need to amend it, okay? But in U UEFI mode, you have to go with GPT. But in my case, I go with those mode. Okay, now we go here. What next? I've have this already done. So in this case, and I'm in bias mode. Then I think I have to go next. That's better. Next, yeah. CF this to create a disk and partition. Okay. In my case, yeah, exactly that. CF this device. CF. Why I'm not using F this? Because you see, F this will show you a lot of text like that on the screen, and it's not so easy. So I use C F this, uh, which is easier to follow. S D I minus those. Okay, here we go. You see the size, the label, and now I just click new and so on. But before that, we will go back here. What we need to do is the map like this at uh, three devices one for BIOS or FE boot two for swap and SDA three for root and the remaining okay and yeah this is um, a notice here that you may go without the swap that's depends on whatever you want if your RAM is uh, your system RAM is uh, more than 8G you don't need to go with swap but Anyway, there is a swap file that needed to create, and the swap file by the end will be fixed allocated. So why not have a device instead? So for me, in my case, I go with a device. So file also you have to allo allocate it. So I go with device. That's why five, twelve, eight, and the remaining. Okay. 5, 12, 8, and remaining. Back here, new. Uh, 5, 1, 2, megabyte. Primary. And bootable. And the type. The type, the type, the type. is Linux. Is it? I don't know. Uh, yeah. It's not saying anything, so I go with Linux. Yep, I think so. See, I'm a newbie. I'm not a specialist. Okay. New. 8 gigabyte. 8 gigabyte. Primary. Yeah, primary always. Type swap. Here, yeah, swap. Mm hmm. I think so far, so good new the remaining primary and everything is good okay create devices are ah, here it's set so so bias mode with those select bootable and boot and set the type to Linux I set it to Linux already okay next uh, to Linux swap uh, Linux swap already and the third one Linux root or uh, Linux root of yours, I don't think in BIOS mode it is for uh, GPT because here if I go to type I cannot Linux root. There's no Linux root here. Yeah, there's no Linux root. So Linux is okay. I think I'm good. As said here, when you are done, you get right, type yes, and we finish and then quit. Okay, right. Uh, yes, enter and quit. Done. Okay, that's good. Now we format the try and devices. Uh, as you can see that uh, we keep going on with the uh, 
bias mode in our video but for your real case maybe you are with GBT UEFI mode so follow the the one that is uh, with your mo uh, boot, uh, boot mode okay for my case I have to go with BIOS so that's make uh, make FS make file system extension 4 for SDA 1 SDA 3 and make swap for SDA 2 that's easy okay let's go make FS file system extension 4 uh, device SDA 1 enter okay done next I just need to up uh, up arrow key and then we have three because those are the same so and also make swap for device SDA2 I think I'm done okay important UEFI I'm not in UEFI but if you are in UEFI then you have to set BIOS group and for checking whether there's BIOS group or not you use this command I will show you but actually I don't need to do it parted device print okay and show you that parted device SDA print and you see the number one for mine is flag boot uh, which is correct so I don't need to uh, uh, do any amendment but in case of UE UEFI if it is not by a script then you have to type this second command to set it to group okay now we mount our device and what you need to uh, remember to notice is um, S uh, SDA 3 means the root device must be first download before the others and the type of my directory must be precisely yeah okay so we mount this first and then we um, make the directory for the um, boot and then we mount the, uh, the SDA1 and also SDA2 and boot mode and FE mode uh, is different yeah? so remember your boot mode and follow the exact match of your system for my system here I'm follow the boot, boot mode so actually I have to do what uh, I have to follow yeah that's and that's okay mount device as the a tree yeah we have to do it first mount okay let's go make directory mount boot and then mount mount device SDA1 mount boot and then um, swap on device SDA2 done we are good to go now we come to the arch installation base installation so uh, my recommendation is to use Linux which will give you the latest kernel but if you don't want to risk the maybe some bug or so then you can go with long-term service a uh, long-term support but in some cases some packages uh, some modules or uh, software will not run with the old kernel it's not that old it's quite uh, just one or two version uh, behind but for my case I use Linux okay so and also if you are in UEFI boot mode please remember the the command is like that for buff bias and UEFI mode but for UEFI mode please add one more package to the line back here every boot manager yeah for my case I don't need that because I'm in bias mode so I just need that uh, command only okay now we will go with the base installation pack 
strap uh, mount pack strap mount now we go with base base devil base base devil Linux Linux uh, headers for sure because this is needed for many applications and Linux firmware is um, the needed infrastructure also we will go with some uh, library for input library to support our input devices DKMS for uh, installation nano I will tell you later uh, lip input DKMS and nano I use nano text editor instead of uh, vim many people use vim but uh, to me it's not so newbie friendly so for a newcomer I think nano is more visualizing visual and easy graphical uh, not graphical but easy to follow because the com command uh, on the screen so you will see it later and we need group now enter and wait We have finished our installation. What's next to do is uh, generating FS tab, yeah. And as the option, you have uh, one for UUID or one for labels. I will go with label because it's said uh, by ArchWiki hints that uh, L will somehow make old computer runs faster. And for VirtualBox machine, virtual machine, sure we need some lightweight. But uh, if in your case maybe uh, the uh, UUID is better, uh, as it is default on the ArchWiki, it's like that. So for my case, I will go with L. But if later you don't like it, you can use Nano to edit it to clear it and then uh, regenerate it by re uh, running this command but in now we don't need it and so I go with that uh, gen f s tap uh, for me I go with L for label mount and then arrow arrow mount etc I think it's f s tap yep enter and we are good to go and I can check what I've done is cat mount etc FS tap here you see mine is labeled as device SDA 1 2 and 3 instead of uh, UEID there U UEID is up there uh, quite a bunch of uh, code there but uh, I will use the label one okay for my case here and now from the beginning we are working with um, always we are working as root but uh, from the beginning till now we are standing under the foot of the USB installer to set up something onto our hard disk but now we need to do some persistent uh, configuration on our hard disk so that's why we have to be in there to do some configura uh, configuration so we will go arch change root to pound so that we are going there and configure configure everything from there okay so that's it you see the difference of the prompt now next what we are we doing next is set the system uh, clock to set it to uh, network uh, time yeah network time okay time date uh, CTL for control set and uh, network time I think it's protocol true done easy as go you see installing arch is really 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 easy okay time zone set up if you get to know that you just need to go come to the final 
um, command just type that final command but for that you have to know your region and your city so if you don't know then we will go slowly step by step and we'll show you how to do it okay line uh, sf user 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 share and what next zone info you see my memory is not good I always okay here now we use tap twice one two see there the region shows and you can just uh, you can pick up one that is uh, match to yours for mine is Asia so I put it Asia and another slash and another tap tap okay so now I look for my city my city is Shai Gong okay and space and now we see you see here I said tap for two times to show the region and then when you enter the region tap for two times twice um, to show the list of cities that's in that region and type it in and finally you put the full command etc local time okay etc local time done so you see that's really easy and uh, next we will set the hardware clock uh, to UTC okay mm hardware clock dash dash uh, slash dash uh, system to HC I think that's it yep that's it okay next we will localization localization means we'll set the local file okay now we are using a nano yeah see nano etc local gel Gen nano etc local gen dot gen enter you see here the full command line command available commands are on the bottom of the screen uh, which you just need to uh, use control and th that key so for example I will look for something where is it is the W so control w and because i'm looking for um, uh english uh, as a normal i have to use for the english then english uh us that's what i need to looking for you can see it on the example there but i don't use the example but uh it is somewhere in the set the configuration i can use the same example also but it's not looking nice if you are using example okay UTF-8 I think so yep um, enter okay first it goes there in the example okay now control W again and enter again here we go here we are and I uncommanded so I remove the uh, sharp uh, signal sign and then control O to write enter and control X to exit you see nano is really friendly so what next uh, next is uh, we will generate the uh, local so generated is really easy local dash not dot gen okay enter let it do it and it's complete uh, next we will configure the uh, local locales local locales nano local dot configuration nano um, etc local dot configuration config configuration okay it's empty so we have to put because I'm using uh, English US UTF so I just need to put it there language EN okay capital lock lang equal EN I think it's US dot UT 
T F dash A. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Control O, enter. Control X, as it. Oh, that's really simple. Now the keyboard layout. Oh, uh, so as if you are using the uh, U.S. keyboard as I am, actually you can skip this uh, section. But if you are not using that, so there's something you have to do, and I will follow uh, the um, tutorial to show you how. Okay, nano etc. V console dot configuration nano etc. V console dot configuration enter it's empty so key map and the key so as I am I'm using US so I will type in key map and key map equal US that's all control O enter control X up so next network configuration network configuration for network configuration actually is to set up the computer name so pick your name uh, for mm, your name is what you will pick I think a nano etc etc host name I think host name enter yep uh, in this case I will put uh, Vincent the computer in Vincent virtual box yeah, Vincent VirtualBox VB VBA. Ooh, yeah, VirtualBox Arch. Okay, Control O, Enter, Control X. Yeah, that's look good. Vincent VBA. Whoa, sounds funny. And next we will uh, add some entries in the file of etc. Host. Okay, so. Uh, we will nano etc host and go back down here one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one one two three four local host and then column column uh, one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten local host and then one two seven zero one but one uh, the name of the host name Vincent VBA which I had just created before uh, local uh, domain and one two three four Vincent VBA okay control O enter control X that's right for static IP, if you are using a uh, static IP on your in Ethernet or in uh, or Wi-Fi, you have to replace the that one, the last one, with your IP, your static IP. Okay. For my case, I uh, I'm not using that. I use dynamic, so I don't need that. Okay. So uh, it is said that uh, you should not use root as a daily user, but uh, even uh, if you are not using root uh, account you have to set some uh, uh, protection for this password yeah password I make it easy for my case but for your don't do it like that one two three four five six enter one two three four five six enter <laughs> not not don't, don't do it like that I just do it for fun here okay bootloader that is important uh, one of the important thing is the bootloader because many people I saw on uh, Facebook groups and some forums they are having problem with bootloader they can for example they are uh, doing dual boot but they cannot see and select window or Linux vice versa or they even cannot boot into so the bootloader is very important the most common bootloader is group G -U R U B, yeah, and there are other group uh, bootloader, for example, Sys Linux or so. Um, but for most of the case, we are using group. So in here, I use group, and because I know my 
system here is BIOS with master boot record so I will follow this step but for your step maybe you are in UEFI with GPT then follow that step okay depends on what is your uh, boot mode you have to follow either one of that okay for my case I will go with BIOS because it's my case okay group group not group group install uh, device easy SDA enter and wait installation finished with no error so that's good what's next um, okay before we go next uh, if you are using dual boot for example Windows and Arch then please follow this step it's easy just install more two more packages which one is uh, NTFS 3G is to use to mount and read write to uh, window disk and one is OS proper to uh, identify to detect uh, any uh, operating system on your system on your computer and okay then you run it and then you uh, edit the uh, group default setting by uncommand this so to let your OS proper to run at the start and then you reconfigure uh, regenerate the, config uh, the configurations of group by that command so I think that's easy to follow okay so what next next we will go with uh, because we are not using root account so we have to put a super user account so now we will add a super user user at make user name username is the user that uh, the name that you need that you wanted okay so my case uh, it's Vincent and whatever your case is the name that you put there and remember no special characters just normal characters no uppercase okay I think that's it yeah here no uppercase letter no special characters just simple okay now we set a password for the new user password Vincent for the Vincent user and you should have a really good password but for my case I make it fast it's one two three four five six enter one two three four five six enter but not you don't do it like that now we set the role for the user because any user need a role so that you can uh, you have the permission to do something okay uh, user mod okay now user mod uh, dash a g uh, case sensitive a uh, lower letter lower case g high, uh, uppercase will which is normal audio video um, optical um, a hey, no no space um, power and storage I think storage 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 okay and the name of the user that we uh, um, pointed to Vincent yeah minus Vincent okay Vincent Vincent yep okay so what next we give the right to the real user because uh, we have just gave the role now we give the rights okay nano etc sudoers nano etc sudoers uh, ignore the red line that sudo is meant to be read only because at the moment we will have to do something and for that we have to um, uncommand a line for looking for that is control w so where is it okay and then i will um, look for this an uh percent sign and will and enter here here you have two two line two section but this i don't recommend because this is doing without password that's dangerous yeah you may be easier 
follow uh, do some error some mistake okay so we need a password to protect okay so we just need to uncommand the status control O enter control X asset so you see easy installing arch is really easy okay now we come to the um, next step the next step is the desktop environment DE installation okay any in, uh, any desktop environment needs some uh, um, background so for that we will use xorg and xorg uh, x init okay install it that's easy pacman s xorg xorg x init yep enter uh, just tap enter for all and it's just small so yes and oh there you see we wait okay it's done so what's next uh, I if you install Arch Linux from VirtualBox okay I have not read it because I make it so blur okay so for VirtualBox I need to install a not additional uh, package is virtual box gas utils okay so I have to pacman as virtual box gas utils okay enter small fast uh, web I think it's done so next is network and printing so for network and printing you have two options either use network manager and WPA supplement or network D with IWD there's an option 3 is using IWD with network manager but for that there are some minor uh, error so I don't use that put only two options and for that I recommend option 1 because network manager even is set as old is not that modern as the Intel IWD and IWD is on the uh, default Arch installer at the beginning as you see it uh, saw it so but IWD is only support for Wi-Fi only no Ethernet even though it is a little bit slightly slightly uh, faster and all connection comes to one uh, point only not like uh, WP a supplement that uh, there are many spreading ar across but for so long network manager and uh, is supported by many distro so we go with the old but safe and sound so option one I go and also what it's in now uh, cup okay so for option one this is option one yeah my recommendation recommendation is option one so I also put it here but if you are going with option two uh, you have to replace this with that one easy okay but I recommend option one okay <coughs> Firefox because after that we need some uh, network um, internet browser to do something on the internet cups and cups PDF is for printing support uh, one is for printing and one is to print to save as a PDF file so we go with that okay Pacman s and then IW network manager network dash manager dash uh, that's what that's right that's what that's applet and Firefox applet and then we go with Firefox and cups and cups dash PDF F not G I think it's good enter uh, go with the default always oh that we have to wait for quite a long so we are done with the installation what's next 
um, we have to activate the printing service also I will activate because I have uh, select the option one so I will also activate the uh, network service also so for this one at a time we will do it once system control enable cups system control enable cups enter and then system control 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 and able uh, case sensitive and uppercase network m uppercase manager enter done so we are good to go next network printing video card drivers for my case at the moment on the virtual box of course I will go with the open source video driver cards but if you have some uh, Nvidia Optimus hybrid video cards mean a card with two video cards uh, Intel and Nvidia is, is, is on my system at the moment um, which is on my system at the moment here where here you can see here then follow this step uh, it's easy just typing some command and enter and to go and also remove the vice versa generic one thing you need to uh, notice is that later you will have to install prime switcher after you install uh, yay okay yay after that we will have to prime switcher if 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 you are using nvidia optimus hybrid video cards it's like on my system at the moment here this is uh, prime switcher you see i have two modes one is for nvidia with performance which i am using at the moment current mode because i'm uh, put it the display to the single display onto the uh, TV HDMI TV that's why only NVIDIA works on that mode but if I won't don't want to use that mode I want to turn back to my uh, system uh, display then I can use switch to power saving mode which will turn back to Intel so in this case I have two uh, video card drivers on my system that's why I need uh, prime switcher but normally you don't have to, uh, to do that so normally you go with that is easy okay for all other cards except the Nvidia Optimus which I for somehow have it on my system okay so for the others just that one Pac-Man SX or drivers here we go Pac-Man set up uh, X orc and drivers traverse uh, yeah at all because it's not just for drivers video drivers as you can see on the screen it's also for input devices for synaptic synaptic uh, input for mouse lip input uh, everything so we go with O enter and it's just only 5.4 megabyte a tiny one so why not and so oh okay so what next we have it installed we have it installed we have and if you're using Nvidia Optimus then you can type this to see what video drivers are using on your system at that time but for me I don't need it at the moment so next we are going with desktop environment for this tutorial I only introduced three desktop environment is Bachi which is on my system at the moment and uh, GNOME and Mate for lightweight system but if you have uh, you don't like those three you can uh, may go uh, with others like uh, go to um, wiki arch wiki and from there you can select uh, official support officially support here you see a lot of desktop environment uh, here and you just need to follow it to see how to install it 
it's easy like cinnamon uh, KDA plasma okay that's easy I don't think it's uh, difficult okay for our case we are going with budgie and before we go there's one thing that I want to notice you is that budgie depends mostly on gnome as you see it's setting always set to gnome and also it needs some packages of gnome to uh, run fluently here gnome control center gnome terminal gnome code assistant uh, g added nautilus file rollers all are from gnome so for that why not install gnome and it is also set on arch wiki somewhere i don't remember but it is said that uh, gnome can be very good for budgie to function flawlessly as i remember so for my case i will install gnome and furthermore furthermore is that uh, it's only around one gigabyte less than in usb nowadays so why not install buff so for my case i install buff and because i install buff then i will install gnome first and then i will install uh, budgie so that i can avoid to install such so many typing here okay so we go with gnome and i have to read that 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 that, that. okay gnome gnome okay okay let's go pacman always pacman at the moment later you uh, will use graphical user interface okay gnome um, gnome what Code assistant, gnome net tool, gnome sound recorder, gnome code assist assistance, uh, gnome oh, gnome net tool, net tool, 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 tool. And what next? Gnome sound recorder. The um, inconvenience that, that you have to type it here because the installer doesn't uh, doesn't um, recorder 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 uh, separate to pasto uh, copy and pasto which I love gnome tweaks and gnome usage recorder gnome tweaks and gnome usage I think it's all and we enter and wait okay select all that you see all is there and then uh, yeah we go with the default setting 1.4 gigabyte okay it's still smaller than a USB nowadays USB this okay now that we have finished this installation of gnome package so what next is we have to configure it okay nano x init rc okay what i'm doing is nano and then and then and then x init rc okay it's empty and I just need to type in exact executive execution of gnome session. Okay, exact gnome slash uh, dash session. I control O, enter, control X, and we are done. So now what is next is that we have turned back to Bachi install because our desktop environment is budgie so we will go with budgie install here pacman budgie desktop okay i wish i can copy and paste though okay pacman pacman uh, s tell you what yesterday i had just taken my first dose of COVID vaccine so i'm um, today i'm a little bit dizzy so maybe uh, my memory runs not so well but you does stop this morning i cough like a cock yeah coughing oh, 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 oh. yeah a lot now i'm just a little bit dizzy 
desktop but dizzy but she desktop view but she desktop view um if i can copy and paste it. but she extra but she screen saver but she extra trust yeah but G but G screen saver extras screen saver like DM like DM GTK creator like DM GTK creator settings and like locker I think that I remember okay so like DM like DM make it fast because if not I will forget it. GTK creator, GTK creator like DM GTK creator 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 uh, settings and now I forgot. Like locker, locker, and that's it. Yeah, next is GNOME and wish we don't need it. Okay, we have already installed it. Not need, not that we don't need it. Okay, and then wait. Yes, I am. Okay, so we go next. Um, again, we have to configure the uh, X in it RC. I wish I can copy it. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Nano um, mm, mm, X in it RC and we have that so we put it down and now we we, uh, we enter the new one export XDG current desktop export port export X X X X D G underscore uh, current uh, underscore desktop okay budgie num okay equal budgie column num enter yep exact uh, exact budgie desktop exact exact but budgie desktop I think that's it now we are done that's good control O enter control X that's so simple with nano I love it so ah no no not not yet here we have to uh, enable the service like we uh, we had just enabled cups and network uh, manager before now we have to enable like DM so that it can uh, load at the login okay so system, system control and able like DM enter done anything else I don't think we have anything else oh man I'm so lazy okay it's now to time to restart um, actually I recommend to power off or shut down because that gives you time to remove your USB and for my case in a virtual box I have to power off because I have to uh, unmount then and then I have to go to setting and unmount the arch installer ISO from uh, the mounting of the uh, uh, disk okay so but you can do some uh reboot restart or so but me i'm power off or shut down asset okay we are done here very good and i'm power off you may you may go with reboot but for my case if i reboot i will turn back to the installer from the beginning so i will power off enter that's it
So why uh, VirtualBox machine has completely stopped uh, shut down? So now I will go to setting and um, I will check it. Maybe I need some more memory is maximum. I think I need more because I use I cannot go with that. I go with okay. So here is good and display a system processor maybe maybe I take it four yeah because now we will run in graphical mode and I am afraid that the virtual box will be slow so I have to uh, put mass many any what I can what I have monitor count only one uh, scale factor 150 whenever storage I have to remove this one because now we are not uh, installed anymore so here we are in the uh, login screen and can, uh, you can see that uh, here is the menu where you can select the desktop environment maybe GNOME, GNOME Classic, GNOME XORT or Budgie. For us we are using Budgie and the text I can enlarge it uh, so so now we just need to log in and my password as I said is easy is one two three four five six and log in. Okay you see the connection is established and we are in the system okay because uh, VirtualBox then um, everything will be uh, quite a little bit slow I go to other I go to setting I check something some display but I think that's good display already display is one two yeah I think it's good already and I don't need to set anything else background Maybe I select another background which is better looking also to me, not to you. Yeah, it's not that the force that, but I think I love this one. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, Bluetooth, I will turn off. It's off or on? Off. Okay, so far so good. And uh, let's check the network. Internet Firefox because uh, as you remember in the uh, installation uh, session there's the time that we have to select option one which uh, use network manager that's what I'm using here and because as I said uh, network manager um, support both Ethernet and Wi-Fi and because mine is uh, virtual machine so I have to go by net by uh, uh, Ethernet so that's the wide connection automatically goes on but if yours uh, in the hard disk maybe you have to uh, go here and select the connection the uh, Wi-Fi connection and connect to it that's easy boy I cannot bear that slow <laughs> team I don't like the team here Enable this system to disable. I think I will enable. Yeah, that's it. Better. Okay. Also, at the moment, we'll leave it that way and I go to uh, views.net. Yeah, views.net. Let's see whether it works. Everything is so slow. Man, it's slow. Arch install from beginning, but now I can copy and paste. But with that slow speed, I don't know whether we can go on or not. And uh, we are at post installation. Okay, so we have set up the uh, BIOS and we are now uh, in the system. Also, the Wi Fi, the um, network configuration, we have uh, done it already at the uh, previous step uh, at somewhere here when I told you that to select the uh, here option one and then enable cups and also we enable network manager as we can remember that so now we just go next post installation post installation so we have the network set already and because mine here I don't need to uh, set Wi-Fi but if 
you are using Wi-Fi, maybe there's an option uh, that you can use additional DNS server. For my case in Vietnam, I need to do that because for that, it speed up my Wi-Fi speed. But uh, here, I don't think it's needed in my virtual uh, machine. I don't need it. And also here, I show you the if you not using the network mm, manager and uh, WPA supplement, then you can use network D and uh, IWD, which I have uh, the option to in uh, section 18 desktop environment installation. So you can follow this step to set it up. So that's easy. I don't think so. And for secure boot. In ArchWiki, there is a section uh, uh, will show you how to um, bypass to work around with the uh, secure boot to enable on your BIOS, but I don't recommend it because by that you will have to do some manual keys, which maybe maybe conflict in some updates on some upgrade or so. And that's not good. Okay, so for my case. If I have a by um, dual boot like in, on my system at the moment, each time I want to go to a window, I go to BIOS, and then I set it to put Windows up and boot to window. That's easier, easier and safer. Okay, and user directory. Uh, what I mean by user directory, user directory. I mean that by accessory files here. Normally, uh, because we are installing GNOME and Bachi, then it already has this uh, XDG user DS uh, installed, so you have it already here. But some case, for example, if you install Mate, then document, uh, music, picture, videos, uh, home, or so are not there. Home is there, but Home is there, but document is not there. Download is there, but music pictures not there. Videos are not there. So in this this cases, you might go with that pseudo Pacman on the terminal, and XDG. Yeah, that's easy. As now you know that. Yeah? And for terminal is easy to find. It's in system tool, I guess. It's in utility. Here terminal. So for that you go, and if you don't like that, you can change the preference, preference, and you go with uh, team variable default. Open no. I don't think this ah here stack. Okay, that's it. Okay. Mm, now what next? We go with additional packages. That I am afraid that will be slow on this uh, installation but we have to do it because as you see we have only some few packages which are not yeah like here internet no office no nothing okay you can go with that and you install each and every thing uh, manually by selecting what is that what is that and what is that yeah but that's one way to make it easier I don't know why I shut down the terminal and now I have to open it again okay one easy way I copy that can read that this is for supporting the GUI apps so you either you pick each one and read on the um, arch uh, package here on that Open link a new tab. Okay, open link a new tab. Either you go here and read out what is what. Yeah, what is what. Or we just copy that. And later on, if which one you don't like, you will remove it completely. Remove from the system. No trash remain. Okay. So for this kind of type, now it's easy. Copy and paste. All. Now I love that copy and paste all. Uh, here I can paste all and easy enter password 
is one, two, three, four, five, six. Enter. Uh, here it said there's some conflict with post audio, and I recommend you to go with pipe Y, which is better. Because here you see the uh, if uh, if we are not going by that, then here post audio have some problem with the audio. So may better we go with pipe uh, pipe Y. Post audio is long run, but I love something new, so I removed post audio. Yes. The conflict we go with pipe Y. Uh, pipe Y and post audio remove post audio Bluetooth. Yes, you see pipe Y go with only one package. Why post audio has two package, so that's why I love pipe Y one and everything. Okay, four gigabyte that will be long. Wow, that will be long. Okay, that's a long run on the system. Just a few more steps and then we will completely going with uh, GUI. Now first we have to install yay, yeah, yay. And the lovely thing is that I just need to copy and paste. All. Control shift V and paste. All. One, two, three, four, five, six, enter. Okay, for sure we have to select yes. Okay, it's done. So what's next? We go back to here. We got the clone here. Uh, paste here. Enter. Okay, it's done. Now, uh, change mode. Give some permission. Control copy. Uh, paste all, enter, and CD yay get to copy. I cannot out tap because out tap I go out of this. To V, paste all. That's it. That's funny. CD, enter. Now we are in here, and we make package as I enter yes okay as we have yay installed what's next to do now we can use yay as pacman yay and as and package name install the yay package so we will install pamac we have pacman and now we install pamac package manager okay it's a graphical package manager so we just need to yay and that okay yay and that control copy paste all enter yep uh, go with the uh, default aurea yes and uh, select and for no we don't need to show that and yes to install <coughs> okay as we have the the PAMAC uh, package installed next is we have to replace some uh, PAMAC Aurea package so yay on it again yay control copy and again paste all and enter no okay that's done now what's next add remove software so we are achieving our goal okay go to menu here add remove software and there you have something to do is click on read up okay um, activate the uh, third party Okay, here the dot. Uh, here is not dot. This dash, whatever preference. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Enter. Okay, yes, I think I leave it there. Leave it there. Advance. Nothing here. The third party. 
activate and check for update so done so you see now we have everything done okay relax enjoy from this point forward almost everything can do from graphical user interface install remove update all can go via add remove software Pamac manager yeah you can use terminal to type in Pamac manager it goes exactly the same and from this point I leave you there because just only uh, remember that the uh, here when I said about uh, prime uh, prime switcher yeah if you have a um, hybrid video card there and via hybrid uh, uh, video card then you have to uh, so prime switcher whatever this yeah 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 enjoy arch okay and some yeah some interesting uh, theme budget manager internet browser whatever yeah from this time forward is really easy now okay okay one more thing uh, if I right click here I have two yeah I don't need to go there budget desktop setting okay so we are in budget desktop setting first we need to select a widget I think I go with adapter nocto and icon is okay cursor okay top right okay now you can do whatever you like uh, here is easy now I don't think there's a problem to do that here uh, and for auto start you can add it here whatever auto start manually auto start and you add it here add, add the application add the command yeah so auto start is here and top panel you can um, add more either icon applet or so it's here that's easy I think and also setting for example here the, mm, the setting is not so because I, I want it to move with me so budget menu budget menu here show menu labels mm, compact show headers roll over yeah so now you see it's different oh yeah here now let's go okay that's easy because virtual box it's quite slow yeah you see that okay the setting of the top bar either set it on top or set it on bottom button is now at the bottom here and also automatically hide or not yeah intelligent height transparency uh, dynamic whatever you can do whatever you want also there's one more um, thing that you can do is dock mode like um, uh, on my desktop you see it it's dock mode like that okay so that's the dock mode not the window 11 <laughs> it's the dock mode of uh, Bachi. okay and uh, you can also set up the uh, notification area here um, so you see everything is uh, customizable now so I think I can stop here as I com accomplish the goal okay I think that's it for today and for this video and hope it uh, helps you in uh, installing Arch Linux the first uh, installation from uh, commands to graphical user interface I hope you enjoy it and see you in the next video thank you for watching the video I'm Vincent goodbye